Most marketing teams are stuck doing a hundred different things manually and it takes forever to get things done. You might as well not even work. Now with AI, especially with AI marketing agents, you're going to be able to move at lightning speed and I'm going to give you the six marketing agents that will help you do so. So the first agent I want to show you is the AI content producer. So you can see on my screen over here, I have a product called Manus AI and what it's doing over here, it's replaying a task that I ran and it came up with high intent SEO keywords, meaning high conversion value. It's also scanning my blog and it's trying to understand my writer guidelines. I one shot at this prompt using Manus AI and I simply just asked it to come up with a bunch of phrases that are similar to three that I dropped in. It came up with 50, I approved it. So this is one of the examples over here that you can see as I scan through this, this looks pretty damn good. I also wanted to show you one more content producer over here. This is a guy named Rowan Chung. He's using a combination of many chat to collect emails when people leave a comment on his Instagram. He is using Hey Jen to create his avatar. He's using Eleven Labs to port over his voice. Years before symptoms appear, and it was started by the founder of Spotify. My point for you is that when you have a lot of tasks that need to be repeated, these are the types of agents that are ultimately going to save you a lot of time. If you just go the extra mile, you are going to get more engagement you're going to get more views and you're going to get more leads ultimately for your business, hopefully more customers for your business, because that's what matters. Number two marketing agent is the trend hacker. There's always a lot of new trends coming out. Now imagine if you hook in with APIs around Hey Gen, around 11 labs, that's going to give you the stack that you need to trend jack very quickly. And so now you don't have to be Johnny on the spot when it comes to coming up with topics or, or, or observing every single trend out there. You can do that quickly. Number three is the scheduler. You're a busy person. The fact that you're watching this right now means you want to get more efficient. Here's the thing. This this is already happening today. I actually use a product called Howie.ai and it is the best AI scheduler that I've ever used. In fact, I would say it's better than any executive assistant I've used when it comes to scheduling. Because for example, yesterday I did a podcast recording with my, my co-host Neil for marketing school. I just tell Howie to just move it to the next week. Now I don't have to keep doing this back and forth. And these AI schedulers are saving a lot of time. The cool thing is maybe you don't have to manage your scheduler. You can hand it over to someone on your team and they can manage it for you. Ultimately, again, the one thing that you should protect more than anything, especially as you grow in your career is your time. Maybe when you're earlier in your career, that doesn't matter as much, but when you're, as you're growing in your career, it definitely matters. All right. So the fourth marketing agent that you need is the outreach manager. Think about it. If you're doing influencer marketing, you're outreaching to a lot of people. There is a product out there called VS code editor. And what you do is you will go into inside the marketplace and you would add a product called Roo code and Roo code. Basically you can combine it with, let's say Claude 3.7, or you can combine it with Gemini 2.5. This is the equivalent in some cases of you using Manus and without having the context window limitations with Manus. You can one shot the blog post that I showed you earlier. Manus can actually handle outreach as well. But if you want a free option, you can actually use again, VS code editor, and then go ahead and download Roo code and then go ahead and add in your API keys. It could be chat GPT. It could be from Claude. It could be Gemini 2.5 or Gem Gemini. There's probably a new version by the time you watch this. So these types of outreach managers can book you seven meetings in three days. But if you book a bunch of meetings, none of it matters unless you know how to scale your team. That's why for number five, I wanted to talk about the recruiting agent. So the recruiting agent, the beauty of this is you can use the agent that I just talked about for outreach. The last one, you can actually flip it over and use it for recruiting. Again, have your recruiting SOPs, have your recruiting loom videos available, whatever screencast tool that you use. Then you can have it go into LinkedIn recruiter. You can have it add projects for you or go into a project that you already have active and just find more people and then use whatever template that you've had in there. And you also have to define what it is that you're looking for too. So in our world, we say, okay, we're only interested in hiring people for the most part, 80 to 90% of these people. We want them to have at least two promotions and maybe three to four years tenure at, at, at least one job or more and preferably at a competitor. AI can easily scan all of that at once. So you have to understand what it is you're looking for. The more specific you can be, the more detail oriented you can be, the better results you're going to get. If you're in B2B, here's the deal. LinkedIn account-based marketing sucks, but it doesn't have to. With Carrot, it allows you to create personalized ads towards your customers and also personalized landing pages that align with the ads. So you're going to have higher conversions and influence pipeline reporting to prove that your ABM works. So if you want to learn more, just go to carrot.ai and you can join the waitlist. Again, it's carrot, K-A-R-R-O-T dot AI. And we'll see you on the other side. Okay, so the last agent that we need to talk about. So none of this ultimately matters if you don't have the right stack. You need something that's running all of this together. So you need an AI manager that's managing all of these agents. Now here's where the world's going right now. Devin, for example, they're 
basically a coding agent. They've actually released a version where they, they can have 20 different agents working at the same time. Some of these companies like Lindy, they're calling it Lindy Swarm. And what that means is, I mentioned earlier with Manus, for example, there's a lot of context window limitations. But imagine if you ask it to do something complex, like build a website or build a program or build a game for you. You're usually not going to be able to one shot that in one prompt. There's going to be a lot of questions, a lot of follow up, things like that, because you only have one window. But imagine if you have 20 or 40 different windows working at the same time, they're working in parallel and they're working together. That's going to leave you with a lot more efficiency. So you do need something that's overlooking all of the other agents because you're going to have a lot of these running in parallel and a lot of these swarms that are happening. And so what that means is you're going to need to be able to have a lot of these, this documentation that I mentioned earlier, a lot of videos, a lot of how you do things and just constantly work with this agent manager, because these are the ones that are going to help you make sure that the trains are running on time, no different than people running ops at your company. All right. So let me know what you think I missed in the comments in terms of AI marketing agents. And I want you to check out this next video over here in terms of how AI will make you rich this year and beyond. And it does go into more detail around one of the agent platforms that I talked about today. Manis, trust me, it's going to be great. You should check it out because it's going to save you a ton of time. See you tomorrow.